Hey there! You looking for some silly invasions? Have I got just what you want? I've got just so many silly invasions for you today. And they're just gonna keep... They're just gonna keep becoming increasingly silly. Except I have to start off with a pretty silly invasion. Because I need that... I need a real good invasion right off the rip. So that I can, uh... You know, so that I can grab your attention. I, I need you invested early on. That's the way it works. And then after a certain point, like after this invasion, I can show you an invasion that's not as good as the last invasion. Um, but, you know, at that point, you're already invested a little bit. That's why when you go see a band play, you know, they always start with a, a hit. And then they play their big hit at the end. You know, that's, that's, that's how you... Occasionally, you'll have a band who's like, all right, we're going to play our big hit right off the bat. And those of you who just came to hear the big hit, you know, y'all can y'all can head out whenever you want. Um, but most of the time, the big hit is the last thing you play. You want people sticking around, buying drinks, buying merch, you know, stuff like that. And uh, now I don't have any merchandise to sell you. And I'm not selling you any drinks. Uh, but, um, you know, YouTube has some stuff that they want to sell you. YouTube wants to sell you laundry detergent. And a new streaming service. Stuff like that. And so YouTube wants you to stick around. And if I want the videos to be seen by anybody, then I need you to stick around. Because that's how YouTube determines uh, how good I am at video making. You see... It's all coming together now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at this guy. This is level 40. And we got this guy who's fat rolling, and his friend dropped him all this stuff, and he doesn't care that he's fat rolling. He just wants to look cool. Uh, and boom, the spacing man, he's messed that up. That's a true combo. You gotta get out of here. You gotta go. You gotta be gone, son. It's over. Die mad about it. Die mad about uh, this. I love every carrion spell so much. I felt bad for Senior here. I thought he was out of flasks. And I was like, oh, he's still got flasks. He's good. This fight, I, I just, for some reason, uh, when I saved the fight, I didn't save all of it. I just saved starting right there. Which is kind of nice, because that's a nice place to start the clip, you know. Senior here, this is a really good example of like uh, all the different stuff you'll see at level 40 when you do invasions at level 40. I like level 40. It's silly. It's, you know, you're level 40, you're invading people who are up to level 54, you know. So you're invading people who are about level 54 and, uh, you know, down to 36. That's the invasion range at 40. Um. But there's a lot more numbers that you can invade above 40 than there are numbers you can invade that are below 40. This guy senior, I tell you what, just, just, like at the time that this fight is going on, like I'm slightly annoyed because he, he seems like the type of player that I would be able to get some, some fun stuff off of, but he's just not giving me anything. And, you know, like, credit to him. He's he's playing pretty well. Uh, he keeps his patterns weird. He'll attack certain times where you think, okay, people, no one's going to attack right there. He'll attack right there. Then there are times when he will just do the most boneheaded thing in the world. And so I don't know whether or not this person knows how to play the game uh, and is good. Or if they don't, and like, you know, I'm just making a new build, and I'm, you know, making an honest new build. And this is the stuff that I have. Just a, an interesting specimen. Look at that. Look at all that. It, you know, he's making some plays. Def this fight, it, it, it felt like it went on forever. And just... So, I, there was probably like a minute and a half of the fight before I before I killed his co op his phantom. Uh, so th that was probably about a minute and a half that unfortunately I just didn't save. And then 
this fight is about three minutes, which is which is wild. That's a lot. A three minute fight with just this dude. I think this is where he kind of flubbed up. He went to the Cestus, and it just doesn't do enough damage. And yeah, he was doing really well with the Scythe. I don't know what the Cestus play was there, but uh, I ended up running into him again uh, in a different dungeon. This time he was by himself. So, you know, shout out to Senior for, you know, having a good time. And it's, it's interesting to find an opponent like this who straddles that line between, like, knows what they're doing but plays in a bizarre way. And, you know, that's a that's a weird item to get, but it's not something that people would like, hey man, drop me this really good weapon I saw on YouTube, you know? It, it seems like, to me, my first impression is that, like, he probably got that off of, a, like, a drop. It looks like his whole build is just stuff he got, he got off lucky drops. Godric armor, uh, a gargoyle hat, and the Halo Scythe. What an interesting specimen. And yeah, that's just, you know, think about that level 40 right there. That's a level 40 invasion. And then think about the invasion right before that. And now you have this one. And it's like these are all the different flavors of level 40 invasions that you can have. Oh, you did the wrong thing, Saint. You shouldn't have eaten that bolus. Go, run, run, go. Go, you fool. It's too late. Just accept it. All right, now hide and you'll probably be safe you're probably safe. oh you're not safe you're not safe at all I'll be honest I totally forgot I totally forgot that it blew flames out both directions but uh, but there goes one of them thankfully these folks right here uh, not using mean builds but well, not, not builds that I would consider especially mean. That Claymore is good. There's no getting around that. Not using builds I would consider especially mean. But, uh, it is interesting that, like, the builds aren't mean, but the players are. You know? Like, what is he going to go for here? After, you know, blasting me with, uh, spells for a while. He immediately, like swaps back to the claymore as soon as I start showing any sign of movement and you know he doesn't know if I'm gonna attack or try to escape but either way um, you know he knows to switch to the claymore to, to guard uh, or you know try and get me as I try and run off you know just mean just mean people right here I love I love enchanted shot. I've I've become an enchanted shot appreciator. I cannot believe. I cannot believe one that I make it out of this and two that that uh didn't hit that dude. That's insane to me. And it has been really hard to catch a break in this invasion. Um you know, usually I can like just sort of rely on the gavel of Hyma. Look at the heavy attack with the claymore. He knows. He knows. Usually, I can rely on that gavel of Hyma to, to get me out of like some rough situation. And then the and then the backup stock as well. Just absolute ruthless meanies here. Made a terrible mistake there. Though. Got the double parry. What a great invasion. And those are the different flavors of level 40 invasions. They're they're pretty fun. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Later, y'all.